G'day, g'day, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Perum Crow, and we are starting a franchise. However, this isn't like your typical franchise. We're gonna treat this the same way we would treat our relocation franchise. I was shocked and awed to learn the Falcons are 73 overall, mate. I wonder if Perum is still considered a, uh, a swear word. Ah, it is, okay, cool. It's not, it's not. Okay, <laughs> my last name is not a swear word, okay? We are going to allow everybody to relocate and things like that if they wish to, I'm not about that. So this is something new to Madden 22 is the franchise stuff. We got game day goals for all of them, that's pretty cool. Wait, <laughs> the head coach is Arthur Smith. If you don't watch the Ruse Dynasty, you won't get it. But Arthur Smith is the head coach, that's crazy. We're not gonna worry about all of this too much, we're again, we're saving all of the franchise staff points and all that stuff. That's coming in with the Dreadnoughts, mate, not this one. Oh, the player personnel, talent trees. We've got backfield vision, blanket cover. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so nice, so refreshing, man. I wonder who's in the free agency. Sherman is in the free agency. I would pick him up because Sherman's one of my favorite players of all time. But the issue is we're trying to be as bad as possible in the first year. I'm just seeing if there's any like studs in here that we could use. I would go after Colin Cap. Oh no, Le'Veon Bell. Oh, he was the reason I became a Michigan State fan and now he's in the free agency in 79 overall. Okay, we have two second round picks this year. Good to keep that in mind. Matt Ryan gotta go. Whoever wants Matt Ryan can have Matt Ryan, okay? The Bears, let's go. They took it straight up. Ryan for a first rounder, we'll take that. I could have probably got more out of that now that I think about it in hindsight. Kyle Pitts, this is the man I'm excited about. It's gonna be a big part of our team once we actually start playing the games. Good spec catch, he's a superstar as well. He's an X Factor though, ain't he? The one thing I always do is try and draft a linebacker of some sorts for me to use on, unless we have one. And I try to get a running back. That's like a channel tradition is getting a running back. Uh, so this is obviously a glitch. Left tackle and left tackle. You know what? I might pick up some people out of the free agency to use as trade assets. That makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to pick up Richard Sherman. Absolutely. Javon Hargrave. Okay. I might even just pick him up for the team in general. That's a steal right there. Tony Jefferson, of course, need to sign him as well. All trade pieces that we can use. Trey Burton, another tight end. Absolutely. A lot of teams are after tight ends, and that's the one thing we don't really need with Kyle Pitts. Not a singular team is after Sherman. Well, I guess Sherman's going to be on the team this year then. There's no way, man. Come on, that's green, green, yellow. Maybe they made it super hard to trade for first round picks. I got a straight up first for Matt Ryan. I've been struggling ever since, man. Okay, Steelers first round pick, it's late, but we still got it. Now that I've got that, I kind of want one more. Just low key one more and I swear we're going to the draft. You know what, this is fine, this is fine. Actually, we'll stick with what we got for now. We at least got two more first round picks, which is great. If there's a player that's so good that we want to trade out, we can just do that. Okay, we're zero one one six. <laughs> that's what we actually want. It's that time, scout college players. Auto-generated rookies. You need a quarterback. 100% we need a quarterback. Right now we have the first, fourth, 25th, two in the second. Okay. Matthew Lincoln. Looks pretty decent. Late first rounder though. Okay. Michael LeClaire sounds sick as well, but uh, he's another late. I already know this quarterback class is ass. Already. Straight away. There's a lot of first round running backs. Yay. <laughs> That's why I came here. This guy at the top looks like the overall best already. Stephen Williams, A, A, and A minus. Early first round. I don't want to take him early first, but he's definitely earned himself a spot on the board. Dwan McCord is also pretty freaking good out of San Diego State as well. Chris Jeffries also an early first, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna put them all on for now and we can check it out when we get the uh the pro day and all that, see what they look like. I need a quarterback though, you know what I mean? Oh no, not another Gutierrez. I had one on the, the other dreadnoughts and he was terrible. Oh my goodness, 69 offense. It's because we don't have a quarterback, but somehow. We're pulling our weight. We're actually winning games out here, which is crazy. We need offensive linemen, but we can probably pick them up later in the draft, I'm thinking. And you got somebody like Jelani Cunningham, who's 6'5", physical receiver with three A's as well. Physical, big go up there and get that kind of player. Ooh, both of these guys are solid. Both early first as well? No. Ed Whitfield's an early first. He got that B-man coverage, 6'2", as well. 
All right, so they still have the draft stuff in here. Ole Miss quarterback Matthew Lincoln won the Heisman Trophy today after a season that saw him dominate opposing defenses. And we also have a top cornerback in Rashawn Bone this week, and it was no contest. Watford leading Virginia to the win. Watford was that guy, Ed, right? I think I like that guy. Yeah, Matthew Lincoln won the Heisman. He's gone up to an early. That's actually... So we need Matthew Lincoln. We have to get him. Right now, we have the 8th and ninth pick in the draft. So we might have to trade up. Like, we might have to. Michael LeClaire is not the play. Late first rounder. We need Matthew Lincoln. Patty Mahomes going to win the MVP. Kaepernick got picked up by the Eagles and led him to an 11-6 record. Wow, 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 wow. That is so cool. Trey Sermon got it. We finished in second. You know why, though? Because our quarterback was ass. That's why. So I kind of screwed Kyle Pitts over there from winning that. Devonta Smith... Third. Oh, this is my first time seeing all the new rookies on the rookie of the year. Zavon Collins, yes! I hope that happens in real life. It probably won't, but I hope it does because that would be sick. We go draft central. Top need a quarterback. Lincoln looks like the guy. We need a left guard. I like that. That's a cool little addition. Oh, we got AJ McCarron. He had 4,300 yards. We must have picked him up. 29 touchdowns, 10 picks. Not bad at all. More interested in receiving. Russell Gage had 1,100 though. Calvin Ridley with 1,200. Pitts with 921. Oh, this is why we need Matthew Lincoln. If we can sign Matthew Lincoln, I promise. This team is going to go from down here to up here real quick, man. Kansas City going to pick up the Super Bowl. Von Miller, Defensive Player of the Year. This is a, again, this is a cool screen. I like this. The overall Offensive Rookie of the Year was Trevor Lawrence. The overall Defensive Rookie was Zavan Collins. So it no longer is it NFC, AFC, like blah, blah, blah. It just straight up tells you who the Rookie of the Year was. Love it. Thank you. Wait, Cliff Kings. <laughs> no way. Cliff Kingsbury got fired. He was only there for three years, mate. We have experience, though. Look at the talents on the right. We're just going to leave it for now. We didn't fire anybody. We went 5 and 12, but that wasn't really their fault. If anything, 5 and 12 is incredible with the bullshit we put on the field. That sucks. Gage did not want to re sign with the team. I tried so hard, man. He, he wanted, didn't want to come back. Put up 1,100, and he's like. I'm out of here, bro. Oh, this is just a friendly reminder as well. I stream Sunday to Thursday over on Twitch. So uh, if you guys are interested in jumping over to there, the link to that is in the didgeridoo. Should have said this in the intro. I'm a freaking idiot, mate. Okay, I'm going to trade up. I don't feel like the Lions are going to take a quarterback. So let's... Okay, they take Antoine Knowles. Linebacker out of Wisconsin. That's fine. I've tried to be stingy with it. It's not going to work with the 30th. Let me try the ninth. How much does the ninth pick get us up? Okay, they surprisingly really want the ninth pick for the second. Pick up the second pick and in exchange the ninth and the 68th go to the Jets. Okay, because we need, 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 need this quarterback. I, I'm putting a lot in this guy. We also have the combine report now. It's got to be Lincoln. He's got a great combine man as well. Combine warrior. Runs a 471. Okay, we're going to pull the trigger. Please be good. 76 overall, he is hidden development, rank 6 in true talent, stud finder. 91 throw power, good accuracy, good throw on the run, very balanced. 91 XL, 82 speed, okay. We're going to come back and check on him in a second. The Giants with the third pick, they would have taken that quarterback for sure. They take Shelton Floyd instead, you idiots. Okay, we're not taking a running back this early, no chance. That's why I'm thinking about trading down again. Just wanted to get a look and see what, you know, what we're looking like here. Roach runs a 4-3-6. Duan McCord was the fastest with a 4-3-3. I think I want to take the cornerback, though, because we really, really need cornerback. We're going to take Ed Whitfield with the fourth pick. 78 overall hit on development. He was ranked second in true talent. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's going to be your defensive rookie of the year. Mark my words. 92 speed, 90 excel. At 6'2 is crazy. 88 agility, 87 jumping. Wow, really, really solid for Ed Whitfield. Can't wait to see him out on the field. He might even be CB1. Max Cage. <laughs> what a name. I wonder if any of those running backs are still left there. I know they're early, but they probably would have got taken. Oh, we still got uh, two of them left. Dewan McCord and Travis Roach. I kind of want to pull the trigger on McCord, though. Let's go. Let's see what McCord is. 76. Here's a normal dev rank. Ninth in true talent. 
Rocking that number two as well. Travis Roach was a 75. Now, O-line has to be addressed. This is how, That's why I got all the fun positions out of the way, because we have to get offensive linemen now. Greg Fuller would be a pretty big steal. He's projected as a late first rounder. Need offensive line. 73 normal dev, but we, he's ranked 29th. So that's a good pick. Gonna take the chance on the combine skipper, Jimmy Stewart. 72, hidden development. Ooh, okay, Jimmy is ranked 45th in true value, drafted him a 58. Damn, okay, so the O-line is going up quite a bit here. Oh man, I just don't know where else to go, really. Not bad. We pretty much hit the nail on the head. Ranked 100, drafted him at 100. I think I might be done in this draft though. Computer can get whoever they want for the rest. <laughs> Uh, I didn't really scout that far down in this draft. Didn't really have the points to do so. So we open up our official season against Detroit at Ford Field. Our overall and offense all went up. That's good. We're like not a competitor, but that's way better than how we started. Imagine that. When we picked up this team, 73 overall, and now we're up to a 76. And I can guarantee you there are so many holes on this team, you wouldn't believe it, mate. Let's have a look. Okay, we got Lincoln at a quarterback. McCourt is our running back with Hawkins backing up. Calvin really is a superstar. Oh, wow, we have no receivers. But this is kind of what I wanted, though, because Kyle Pitts, you know, you know what I'm saying? He's an X-Factor, by the way. We got double me, mid and elite, red zone threat. That is going to be crazy once we get to the red zone. Thing to keep in mind here, not one offensive lineman is under 70 overall with the additions of Fuller and Stewart. I'm kind of rocking with six for Lincoln. Doesn't look good. I like six, let's go six. Ah, uh, Terrell will be CB1. Whitfield, though, will be CB2. This defense is gonna be fun to play with. We've got Tony Jefferson, and it looks like Richard Sherman retired. The D-line is a travesty, mate. But yeah, that is our team that we are sending out in our first game. Can't wait to throw it to Pitts. Can't wait to see what Lincoln can do. Can't wait to see what McCord can do as well. If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out of here. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater?